What's going on guys? Got something really cool today. Something one of a kind. Nowhere else in the world. The USP 10 millimeter match. So what we have here is an HK USP 10 millimeter. All the HK goodness with the match on the front and some barrel ports. You're probably thinking to yourself, Steve, what are you talking about? There is no such thing as an H&K USP 10 millimeter match. There is now. And yes, this is not something offered by HK. What this actually is, is a Glock 40. So the big boy, long nose, 10 millimeter. Uh, you're probably thinking to yourself, Steve, what are you doing with a Glock? You're right, I do not own any Glocks. This is actually, well, this is the only Glock that I own. Uh, I actually won this in a competition. So I'm thinking, you know what, sell it. Eh, eh, why don't we do something cool? So I sent it to my homies over at Ape Coat, Ape Defense, Ape Coat. They, I said, listen, guys, do something to this thing and make it cool. Something nobody's done, you know, that's not out there, nobody's seen. Why don't we do like a play on HK somehow? So we talked about it. I had no idea what they were going to do. Jason and the boys over there. And they came up with this. The USP 10 millimeter match. Now, if you're not very familiar with all things HK, uh, they came out with a USP, you know, in, in the 90s at some point. It was a USP match. And it had a match weight on the front that looked like this. Had this sort of writing on it. It was black. Uh, this, the whole uh, USP itself was like a, a stainless. So it was like a two-tone with the match weight. So this mimics that look. Uh, if you're familiar with HK Parts, you know, they make a match weight that you can put on VP9s and things that is sort of like paying homage to the USP match weight. It has that feel about it. It's not really a compensator. It's a, it's a weight that hangs on the end and it's open on the top, just like what they've uh, created. So, let's take some shots with this thing today. Also running the Steiner MPS on the top, sitting on a CNH Precision optics mount because those dudes are I think number one in the game for optics mounts top quality machine tolerances tolerances nice last thing that's on it is an SLR works uh, flared magwell just to kind of spice it up a bit make it look really nice on there and then you have to run their low profile base plates uh, so they fit and they actually lock into place so let's take some shots Did I limp wrist? I don't know. Glock. Supposed to be no jammings on Glocks. Let's try again. Felt pretty flat. Now I'm running some SMB 10 mil. Uh, I'm not sure what that's loaded to. I, it's probably not full 10 millimeter spec, uh, but has a little bit of kick to it for sure. Pretty cool. So I really just like overall uh, Ape in general as a company. They're doing really cool stuff. Uh, if you're not checking those guys out on Instagram, I'll leave an Instagram link for them below. But man, they do some really cool custom stuff that I've just never seen anybody do. They're like thinking outside the box. It's really slick. You can see even on this top portion here, it's got this cool little design in through these uh, little windows they put in. Uh, it's just really slick. Same thing with how they just did the porting. It's got like a five banger on there. I don't know if that's what they call it. I'm just calling it a five banger. 
and it just really came out cool, man. That whole match look, the match feel of that USP classic sort of vibe. It's got the little markings, you know, uh, on here and everything. HK, USP, 10 millimeter. It's just, it just really is a fun gun. And I'm glad that I sent it to him to do something cool because I'm not a Glock guy. You guys know I'm not a Glock guy. And to kind of stick at the Glock a little bit and turn a Glock into an HK, I think it's just pretty fun. Uh, let's take a few more shots. So if you're going to ask me, you know, see why run the Steiner MPS, I really have always liked the Steiner MPS. I have it on a, a few different pistols now. So I got it on this one. I've got it on a Beretta APX Tactical. And I've got it on my HK Match, uh, VP9 Match. Um, I just really like the close emitter. I like the Steiner. Good quality here. I've never had any problems with it. And also, it's just not spending aim point money for an acro. I've never owned an acro, but I, I own the, a few of these now. And it's just a really nice optic. So I just stuck with it. I felt like everybody's putting acros on everything. Uh, that's kind of like the, the trend now. So I was just going to run, run another Steiner because I've never had problems with them. It's been a solid optic for me, never any issues. Uh, so I thought I'd just kind of switch it up a bit and go with the Steiner MPS uh, fits on top, you know, it's kind of like a freaking toaster on top of there, but that's the vibe. That's the trend. So whatever Guys, I'm not really sure what there else is to say about this I mean, it's just a really cool build out of ape coat to do this really cool Cerakote code job to kind of pay homage to an HK, an HK that never was. Something that's never been made, to my knowledge, there's never been a 10 mil HK pistol. And to kind of, you know, just give it the USP vibes, match vibes, but in 10 mil. So I just think, man, it's just really cool. It's one of those just cool pieces to have in a collection, you know, and if you, you got a gun that say like, you're not like over the moon with, or maybe something you won in a contest, like I won this in a contest, uh, and you just kind of want to spice it up because you know you got no money into it so far. I don't know, man. Get something cool done. I really, I, I recommend Ape. They've done my US, uh, my uh, VP9 match as well. You've probably seen a little bit of stuff on that. They ported the barrel, something easy. But I was like, man, the US, uh, the VP9 match is just made for poking holes in that barrel because they it come factory with the window on the top. So let's just do it. And they did that for me. Uh, so those guys are just cool, man. Uh, check them out. Uh, link will be in the description for their Instagram. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget, guys, if you want to see more, you got to check me out on Instagram at SteveMP5. Get subbed. Consider it. Come back. Love to see you. All right. See you next time.